He's moving to the right, moving to the right. Are you on him? I'm on him. Are you on him? Yes. Well, as you can tell, I've got the Gunworks muzzle loader right behind me. Frost on the ground where I am heading, there is gonna be no frost, and that is Northern Arizona heading to the Navajo Reservation to go desert sheep hunting. I am pumped up. I can't wait. The area I'm gonna be hunting looks absolutely gorgeous from the pictures and all the research that I've done. Can't wait to have the old Leopold spotting scope set up and staring at a giant desert sheep. But first, gonna get this bad boy 100, 200, 300 day. I, I just got done cleaning it, so I wanna make sure it's shooting well. It had been a while since I cleaned it because it's been busy this fall. So gonna make sure it's dead on again, get finished packing up today, and then off to travel tomorrow. We have arrived into Page, Arizona, and as you can tell, weather is a lot different than Michigan. Sunny and 55 here. Now this is awesome hunting temps, but just getting to the boat launch here, we're gonna go down and meet our guide, Steven, who's right down here and get this started. So what the plan is, we're gonna get on the boat, we're gonna head up the river a little bit. Um, we're gonna set up camp uh, right on the river so we don't have to hike any of that stuff in, and then we'll go from there and just do day hikes up and, until we can find some sheep. Cool thing is, sheep always hang out next to the water, so should we should be in sheep pretty soon after we get the boat set and everything right along shore here we go i'll just get the boat fueled up here actually leaving arizona going to be heading into utah where we're going to be hunting boat rides about an hour and 45 minutes to where we're going to set up camp right along the river and then basically take the boat out from there try to glass from the boat but the water level is so low this year we'll actually get up use a spotting scope and so forth and see if we can't find a band of rams or rams chasing ewes right now so we're the second hunter in this area for the year first hunter was in here hunted for a total of six days saw good rams all the way through his hunt took a really great ram on day six so we're gonna be in the general vicinity of where he was excited to get going plan for once we get set up we're gonna go up to the glassing spot and glass all back in there okay we can go up the water a bit and glass up there yeah okay Sounds like a plan. I've just got the tents and everything set up behind here as you can tell I got the Cabela's two-person tent which is awesome it's their instinct model I've used this basically all over the place easy to put up real simple Gonna get the muzzle loader set, loaded up here. Won't have the primer in it, obviously, carry that in my pocket. Um, we're gonna go up here, right behind us. We're gonna take the boat, go up the river, and just get on some high lookouts and start glassing. And what I didn't know before I got here was the sheep actually hang out pretty close to the water, which makes sense because that's where the grass pockets are. Obviously, the sheep eat the grass, so that's why they're hanging out low, because there's grass and obviously water. So here I thought we we're gonna have to hike to like the top of one of these things, but you may get lucky and not have to. Is that quicksand? Yeah, there's quicksand here. I'll, sh I'll are, show you. Are we gonna go down? I don't think so, I doubt it. <laughs>
time we got over there, he was already about to go into the next can, but we caught him just in time. He had, I think he had like 23 ewes with him. Oh wow. Four other rams that were trying to get his ewes. Or it would be like, boom, sheep here, boom, boom, sheep boom, everywhere. everywhere. And you're walking, oh, more sheep. Or it could just be like how it is now. <laughs> I'll just finish up our first day here. Didn't see any sheep, but Stephen had seen some back in here earlier this week, so we didn't have enough time to get in there today. So tomorrow morning, first thing we're gonna jet over with the boat, and it's quite a hike to get up to that glassing knob right there, but we'll be able to peek in all those little fingers in the backside. The thing about sheep hunting is there's just so much area for them to hide. We just gotta find what little pocket they're in. What's your average age ram? Six, seven? Six, seven. You see any old broomed off? Yeah. Burgers? Yeah. yeah. We saw one right here. That's one. That's the one uh, the last one we carried. Uh -huh. We wanted to shoot him, but then he disappeared on us. Yeah. We, we never found him again. That's a good one. <laughs> There's a costume right now, too. What do you got there? Well, I know how you get, so. I know how I get. Got the black box of the Cabernet. So they know. <laughs> well, she put wine <laughs> by the fire. What's it gonna be today? What's it gonna be today? Gonna be a big ram this morning. And then the fun work starts packing out. How'd you sleep? Slept okay. The ground's a little hard. Yeah. But not too bad. It's pretty waking up this morning and seeing it come alive out here. We're just getting everything packed up here at camp. We're gonna head down river into one of the main canyons that hold a lot of sheep. And there are sheep on both sides. Most likely if we see one, it's gonna be on the other side of the river. So we'll have to boogie down from where our glassing knob is, get in the boat again, cross over, and then get on them. But as you can tell, it's lighting up this morning and it is gorgeous here. Now, I just can't wait to see a big ram off on one of these cliffs. Top of that? The tip top. <laughs> and then we need glassing back across this way and deeper into the canyon. Way up to the top here. Here I thought we we're gonna have to hike to like the top of one of these things, but we make it lucky and not have to. Walking up to the glassing knob here, glassing as we go. 
Steven looked over and spotted a sheep. You can see it from the butt way over to the other side. Just getting a spotting scope out now to see what it is. You can see it. It's just the darkest rock that's kind of up there. Yeah. He's on that. He's right to the left of it, but he's on it, basically. Oh, I see him now, yeah. Tiny in the spotting scope, too. <laughs> oh, there's some more bedded right in front of him. To the right, to use with him. When's the last time they did a transplant here? Um, I don't know actually, I think 2018? I'm pretty sure that U to the right has a uh, tag in its ear. You can't see, it's in the right ear, it's the front one. She turns again. Look at that, I'm crazy. Kind of like that Lion King rock. The Lion King rock, you bust out. It's called Pride Rock. Pride Rock? Pride rock. <laughs> Is it really? Oh, something little ram. There was scar in the top. Below him. He's a little closer. Like 100, 200 yards closer. How was that for an average ram here? I'd say below average. Below average? Yeah. I do think there's more sheep in the back. Either wait it out or just try to get a different angle. A different angle and look up yeah. in there. Well, it's still morning. Pretty sure they're all bedded still, too. How much farther up were you trying to get this morning to look uh, up? Just right here, that's it. That's the top. Mm -hmm. That's the glassing spot. It's got a yellow ear tag, too. The yellow's in the left, right? The yellow's in the left, blue yeah. in the right, and the yes. collar. That's what I saw the first time. It's an expensive sheep. If they didn't join up, it's going to be one big group of sheep. Yeah. You want to pop up there and glass yeah. over here and then come back and... Yeah, we could do How that. long do they normally bed for in the morning? Probably about 30 minutes, an hour. Okay. And they're up, moving Up around. and moving. Mm -hmm. We could kind of sneak around and go up right there. I just used a rope and go up right here on this slip. just got to the top of this face. I'm about to head up and Mark spotted a ram up there. Just hold him tight till I hear what we're doing. Good. Here, hey, just catch it. There's a ram right on the top when we got here, except we had to wait for the camera guy to get up and get a good look at him. It's the same ramp from over here, isn't it? Yeah. Covered some distance. So from the time it took to get the camera on and us to walk here, he made, he made it over there. Just getting packed up. We had a pretty active morning on the back side of this hill when we were walking in. We saw all those young rams. There were two of them that were just need 
one or two more years, a lot of potential. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to the boat and we're gonna go up river a little bit more to another spot that's kind of like at the end of the range here. Um, just as an afternoon, see if we can't turn a ram there, but it's a pretty good morning seeing six different rams. I'll just get all your stuff. Just watch our stuff. <laughs> Decent ram. That's in the process of just about doing a 360 circle around us. It's actually heading where we wanted to glass. I'm curious. Continue on heading to where we originally wanted to, and it's right where that that sheep went over the top. Hopefully, he went to go join another bunch of sheep, and there's a lot of them over there. Apparently, there's little grass pockets in the sand that they like to eat on, so there's a good chance. It's getting toasty right now. If I was a sheep, I'd be down by the water. I just get up on that ridge and start kind of walking the edges, just looking down. Yeah, that one. Look down. Maybe go that way. But I know they're here. Yeah. I know that there's a, a cliff, there's a trail. We go to the backside and it drops down. And then you can look down on them. Okay. If they are there, but we'll see. Yep. Just getting to the beach here, dock the boat behind us. I'm gonna head up to a new glassing spot this morning. There's a big canyon off the other side and then where we looked first thing yesterday, we got a different angle on it. It's kinda 
night in the tent kicking her kicking ourselves we probably should have went after that second ram we saw yesterday so after we look in this spot probably gonna boogie back there see if we can't glass him up again it's the last day so we're gonna get pretty aggressive on everything we're gonna stay here for just a little bit then go back to where that ram was yesterday just he was one of those tweener rams that they probably should have went after in hindsight so we'll see if we can't turn him up in the second spot if we don't spot anything bigger here Are you on him? Yes. glass right I say we I didn't see it had glassed up a ram way at the top of the mountain over here and literally got the spotting scope set on him um, talking about how we make a play and all of a sudden we hear sheep running behind us and this giant ram is pushing a bunch of ewes and we were set down low here and I had to get somewhere I could lay flat he was just over 250 yards got set and he was up behind these ewes seemed like forever and he finally cleared to the right in an opening and it looked like I must have hit him perfect because he just went up and straight down. This is a giant ram. Why I love mountain hunting, especially sheep hunting, is because it can change just like that. I mean, just down on your luck, not seeing anything, and all of a sudden just a giant ram runs over a hill like that. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Oh.
What'd you say? No ground shrinkage. Oh, my goodness. What do you think, Oh. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? Look at this dude. Oh, man. Heavy, carries it all the way. Broomed on both sides. This is a ram of a lifetime right here. Oh my gosh. This is where he did that hop. He must have been standing right over. Are you kidding me? Dude, look at this. The freaking bullet. Well, he was obviously standing right here. It looked like the shot was perfect through right behind the shoulder on, on the entrance side and through the shoulder on the exit. Here, right, right down there. There's amazing, amazing ram. How cool is it to find this afterwards too? Well, we just got this ram set up for pictures and as you can tell, he is an absolute stud. This was an amazing time here on the Navajo Reservation. They've got some absolute great rams. One of the main reasons I was so excited to come to the Navajo Reservation to hunt was because of rams like this. But rams like this were possible because of all the conservation work that they've done here in transplanting different groups of sheep all over the reservation. And as you can tell, obviously it's working. Sheep is one of the toughest things conservation-wise in the lower 48 just because there's so many things that affect their populations, not only predators, but also diseases. Unlike Northern Canada to where they don't have as many diseases down in the lower 48, unfortunately, that is part of what sheep have to deal with. And the Navajo Reservation has done a great job conservation-wise trying to separate the bands of rams that they have from domestic sheep. And it's been obvious all the days we spent in the field here, we've seen a couple of ewes with not only ear tags, but also collars. And those collars provide pivotal information for the scientists as they continue to improve the populations of sheep here on the reservation. And I tell you what, I learn every time I'm in the mountains, especially sheep hunting, it can change in a blink of an eye. You may think you're not in sheep and not seeing sheep like you want to, and then all of a sudden, a ram like this pushes a big group of ewes right over the hill where you're sitting and it changes just like that. And then they twist off. Well, it's a twist off on top of it, huh? Oh, mine's, all right. Mine's wet, so. All right. There you go. Here's what's looking at <laughs> yeah. Cheers, boys. boys. Good day. <sighs> oh, straight in the heat. Mm -hmm. Drinking the bourbon. It's a great idea. Yeah. Oh, even hotter. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Right on. Good shooting. Mm, yeah, dude. Yeah, clutch. That was clutch. Just out of nowhere. Oh, it coming. Sounded like a whole herd coming. Yeah, you heard it. Yeah. I heard him. Hey, anyway. Hey, anyway. Yeah. yeah, did I tell you that? Like, this might happen? Like, yeah. yeah. It did first day. It could happen. It actually gonna, happened quite a while. They're just going to come running over the hill. Yeah. Well, Justin, this is not going to cape itself, so we'll get to it. Just some pictures.